In this video, we'll do a run through for five great custom visuals releasing this month. So let's get started. First on our list is Mapbox. Mapbox is back with some huge improvements to their latest version of the custom visual. Let's take a look at the sample report. Here on our sample report, you'll notice that in addition to the dynamic fill color, there's now support for 3D extrusion, and it's super easy to set up. First, make sure that you've added a measure to the size bucket, and then once that's done, you're going to want to set your height to be above zero. So in this case, I've set it to 400. If this isn't a feature that you want, you can simply just set it to zero here. In addition to the height, you can also customize the tilt of the chart, also known as pitch. Um, so you can see the use of this feature. Let me bring it back up to 400 for the height. And then now let's change the pitch. So from 4 to 40, you'll see a huge difference in the amount of tilt. Along with the 3D extrusion features, Mapbox has added a ton of usability improvements. The big one here is auto zoom. Let's test it out. Auto zoom allows us to quickly zoom into an area just by filtering the data. If you don't want this feature enabled, you'll just need to toggle this icon right here. Another great usability improvement that's been added is the ability to add a search box to your map. What you'll need to do is in the formatting pane, make sure that geocoder is enabled. And then you can search for any geolocation that you're interested in. A final usability feature worth mentioning is that if these controls do bother you, they're actually very easy to remove. So all you need to do is in your formatting pane, under Viz settings, you'll see map box controls. You can toggle that off. The next custom visual on our list is actually a set of various bar and column charts um, that have been proved to include support for rectangle lasso selection. Let's take a look. For the purpose of this demo, I'll be using the stack column chart to show this custom visual, but also note the other custom visuals that were released this month because these also support lasso selection. You'll notice that just like the old column chart, as you select different categories, the table on the right will filter to that category. Now, if you want to select multiple, that's when the lasso selection comes in. Simply drag your mouse over multiple categories, and you'll see then the two categories are filtered. The lasso selection also works perfect with advanced charts that might have a legend. The last three custom visuals on our list this month come from 3AG systems. So the first one is column chart with small multiples. Let's take a look at the sample report. This custom visual allows you to create multiple overlap column charts for each element in a group. It's typically used if you want to show comparison between actual, forecast, planned, or previous year values. So let's take a closer look. So when you look at this visual, you'll notice that there's a lighter gray column in the background and there's a darker gray column in the foreground. The darker gray represents the actual values that you're plotting, whereas the lighter gray is the comparative to the previous year. You'll also notice that this group here belongs to 2017 and this group belongs to 2018. That's because we've added year as the group. So not only are you comparing the previous years to the actual, you're also grouping them by year. You'll also notice that there's other options where you can compare the plan versus forecast and group by something else. So in this case, product. And no, you don't have to group. You can actually remove this and still just compare the plan to the forecast over time. The last two custom visuals on our list are related to the previous in that you can display overlapping measures in order to compare visually the actuals to the previous as an example. But in addition to that, these next visuals allow you to compute the absolute variance for the bar chart and the relative variance for the column chart. Let's take a look at the sample reports for these. So the first report we're going to look at is the one with bar chart and absolute variance. 
You'll notice here that the background here is planned and then the foreground is actuals. Hence, the variance will be computed from background to foreground. So in this case, you'll have a negative variance and it's negative two in absolute. You'll see it's a very similar scenario where the foreground here is this darker gray and then the background is the lighter gray. And in this case, this has a positive variance of 10K. Now, this report is for the column chart with relative variance. So this time, instead of calculating the absolute value, we're calculating the relative or percentage variance. So you see here, this is based on the percentage change from the background value to the foreground value. So that brings us to the end of our custom visuals this month. If you haven't already, download these because they're super powerful and extremely easy to use.